Morning all. Now, I've always been a big believer in whatever you do, always have a camera with you or close to you. Wherever I go, if I go for a walk, if I go for a bike ride, if I just nip into town for something, I've always got a camera near me. In New Zealand, we live in quite an unstable sort of environment in that uh, we've got risk of earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, the odd cyclone here and there. You've got to be prepared, really. And one of my ways of preparing for absolutely anything is to always have a camera with me uh, because you really just never know when you're going to need it. Uh, and I know these days everybody's got a phone with a camera in there, but personally, I always like to have a, a real camera, a nice camera with me. So this morning, I'm going to get the bike and I'm going to head down to Gumtree Farm, which is a, uh, a beautiful mountain bike track. It's stunning. And we've got beautiful clear skies and, and a lot of light going into the track. I'm just going to make some nice photographs as I travel around. Camera-wise, I'm just going to throw the Leica Q2 on my shoulder and just rumble about. If I see a photograph, I'm going to pop it off. This 28mm 1.7 Summilux lens is absolutely beautiful for landscapes, environmental portraits, documentary stuff. It's just a good all-rounder. I absolutely love this camera to bits. So I'm just going to ride the easy trail today and it's just down that way there. What a beautiful place this is. Look at this. I mean, the colours, the light, the shadow, the shade. Perfect. A moss covered pond. I think that'll make a nice photograph. Just showing the light on the moss and the shadow. I mean, look at that. That's the picture there, look. Look at the golden light on that tree. I'm gonna get a bit of a detailed shot maybe. Looking at that tree, with the other trees in the background, fairly dark. All right, let's just push on a bit further. Hills. What a beautiful morning to be on the trail. Getting a bit deeper into the park now. The light's not penetrating quite as good. So we're gonna get pockets of light. And that's what I'll be aiming for. Look at that tree there. One tree, it's not a gum tree. Don't know what it is. Well, it could be a gum tree actually, I have no idea. But whatever tree it is, it just stands out really nicely. So obviously I'm aware that most of the photographs from this morning are going to be of trees because uh, obviously I'm in a woodland environment so uh, trees are the dominant feature so the trick is going to be to get a few photographs that are not not all the same but work together as a uh, as a collection so uh, we'll get some some wide shots of trees, some close-ups of trees, some detailed shots of bark, uh, some of the wider environment, who knows. I love things like this where you've, you've got no preconceived ideas of what you're doing, just go with the flow, make some photos. Oh, shot. Right, so what we've got here, we've got this tree here that's bathed in sunlight, but I don't know if you can see that. On the GoPro, we've got a nice spider's web there. Now for this shot, I've just switched over to manual focus. I'm shooting at f1.7 because I want the background completely out of focus. And what I'm doing is dropping down my angle a little bit so the web is in a darker space above the green of the grasses. That just helps it stand out a bit because obviously shooting against the green, you lose it, get a bit lower. You can see it not so well on the GoPro, but on the camera, certainly. Like I say, the opportunities for photography are all around you, no matter what you're doing or where you're doing it. Just have a camera and you'll see pictures. Another reason why you should always, always take a camera 
on a hike or a cycle ride with you, anywhere you're doing a bit of uh, bit of physical activity, always have a camera because when you're absolutely munted, shattered, exhausted, you can pull up, grab the camera, pretend to take a photograph, but realistically, you're having a rest. Honestly, and that's how I'm feeling at the moment. I'm desperately looking for something that could potentially make a five minute rest photograph. But I'm going into the shade, I can't see anything yet. Bugger, find something, find something quick. Here we go, some light. All right, that tree directly in front looks good to me. Whew. Let's just get off the bike, make a photograph. Not really having a rest at all. This trunk here, uh, we've got a little bit of resin. I don't know if you can see it, a little bit of resin coming out of the back there, coming out of the trunk. And uh, so I'm just gonna focus in on that macro mode and just a nice detailed shot. I'm gonna shoot it at 2.8 to give myself just enough depth of field to make the actual main target stand out. And the most important thing, while I'm messing about with this in macro, and I'm setting everything up in the, on the camera, it's giving me more of a breather. So uh, I'll be fit and ready to go up the trail shortly. But first, a bit more rest. I mean, I mean a bit more work on the, uh, this, this particular photograph. Shot done. Rest had, breath caught. Let's hit the trail. Ooh, 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 tight, tight, tight. Got it. Took that a bit too wide. I snuck it, I got away with it. Now I've not yet built up the bottle to jump that ramp. <laughs> I've been there a few times, but as yet, balls for that. Not ready for that yet. Is it that way or this way? This way. This is a Monday morning, so uh, it will have been pumping down here over the weekend. We had good weather. Good conditions but this morning everybody's back at work nursing injuries and that sort of malarkey keeping the wheels of the industry rolling while well, i'm keeping the uh, the wheels of my little mountain bike rolling in absolute seclusion no one else around beautiful Woo. hey 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 calm it I'm kind of buzzing down here a little bit I'm not really uh, looking for pictures at the moment. Uh, that's okay. I'm not just here to take photographs. I'm here to enjoy the ride. And I certainly am. Oh, hold on. Hey, brakes on, brakes on, sir. Look, 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 look. Stand of gum trees in beautiful light. And that could be the first shot, actually, of the sequence. You know, you get a, a big, wide establishing shot, and then you get all your other detail shots as you go along. Way, which way, which way? Straight across, I think. Yeah, straight across. Follow the green sign. This is perfect. I love these tracks. I've been on the intermediate track before, and it's uh, it's interesting. You know, I was a bit freaked out, but uh, it was okay. It goes steady. It's enjoyable. I think one day, on a weekend, or on a competition, I'll come down here and, and get some photographs of the uh, of the proper mountain bikers doing their thing. Because, hey, as a photographer. And of the fact, mountain biking makes some fantastic photographs. And you've got the environment, the location, the action, the drama, the spills and the thrills. It just makes some lovely, lovely action photos. I've shot it many times mountain biking when I worked at the, uh, the newspaper. And I always come away with uh, some quite handy photographs. Oh, that looks nice actually. So that green, Mossy Pond that I shot at the start of the shoot is just down there. So uh, let's see if we can get an elevated shot. So I'll shoot this at f11, just get plenty of uh, depth of field in there. It's not a world beating shot, but it's like an establishing shot again, you know, something to give the uh, viewer an overall picture of what is here. From that standpoint, 
not a bad shot. So let's just make a nice shot of that. Maybe a, maybe a macro shot, maybe a bit further back. So that last shot definitely worked better as a vertical rather than a horizontal. What I'm looking for now, I'd like to get a nice, maybe a, a detailed shot of something. Where am I going, Paul? Can you go that way? Of course I can. I can go any way I want, I think. Yes, yeah, that's good. Way, 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 way. Get down there, get down there, fatty. Oh, yes. Way, 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 way. Good breaks, good breaks, good breaks. Here you go. Way. That's good, that's nice. And there's possibly a couple more photographs I want to get. I want to get a nice, tight, oh, here we go. Nice, tight, detailed shot. Some of the back, some of the patterns on the back. And look at this one here. I like how that back is there, look. Nice patterns. Not even that one there. That's going to be a shot as well. That one's quite nice there. You've got the, uh, the stand of trees there, leading to the canopy with the sun streaming through. You know what I'd like to get is a photograph that shows the greenery from a moss coloured pond there. Blowing quite luminously green, I love it. Uh, but I want something dark in the foreground, maybe a tree like that, something like that. I mean, that's a golden brown tree uh, with a greenery in the background. I think, I think that's a winner, actually. It's not only a photographic subject, it's a bike stand. For this subject, I'm gonna shoot a shot at F11 to give myself full depth of field. But I'm also gonna take a frame at F2.8 because to be fair, the background, really doesn't add much to it. Right now I'm just looking down for for a leaf to be honest. That's all I want, a leaf, one of these old Monty gnarly leaves and I'm going to use the green pond as a backdrop to offset it. I'm going to shoot it in macro mode, shoot it f8. Lovely, lovely. Back in the saddle. just about back to the beginning and that guys is just one trail in this magnificent park it's absolutely superb I mean look at this views silence solitude the smell of the gum trees it's just beautiful what a way to start a Monday morning and I hope it's giving you an idea of why you should always carry a camera it doesn't have to be an all singing all dancing fantastic camera it can be anything whatever can it can be your phone make sure you've got your camera with you at all times no matter what and uh, and you will find photographs and you will make pictures and uh, to be honest with you having a camera on you no matter what the subject it always makes anything any activity far much more fun in my humble opinion i absolutely love it just before i leave the park look at that tree how cool is that pinks grays oranges stunning Let's make a shot of that. Alright guys, until next time, hope you enjoyed this and learnt a bit of something. If you have, give us a like and a subscribe, all that sort of stuff, you know what to do. Alright, cheers guys, until next time, catch you later.